Hi. Yeah, that guy, that guy over there. Yeah, him, that weirdo. Yeah, that's me. For those of you who don't know me, last year I underwent a dirty bolt. I did an 8 month transformation, transforming my small 64kg physique to a whopping 75kg physique. Since then, I've cut down and bulked myself up through the lean bulk to 77 kilos. Me being a fitness enthusiast, I love the gym. So to hear that we were going back into yet another lockdown, uh, I wasn't happy to say the least. So I started analysing the equipment that I had and thinking about would it be sufficient for what I need to do. For the first two lockdowns, I had enough equipment. The equipment I had was a 35 kilogram barbell and bench, two adjustable dumbbells going up to 12 kilos and some resistance bands. Now obviously for most people this you know is sufficient and for the first two lockdowns I was grateful because I had more than most people. However, uh, I am starting to plateau with everything that I have, meaning that I needed some more. Also for those of you who don't know, I do coach on the side so I needed to have a little bit of a setup for when things start to open again. So I started looking around for things that I could find. I looked on the internet um, and all the prices just pff, wanted, was, were too, too high and I didn't want to spend that much money considering gyms, you know, they're not too far away from opening. So I looked around and I decided I would pick a dips and pull up apparatus station because, you know, why not? Like, they're good. And I needed some mats, lots of mats, because I live in a house of five and the last thing my mum wants to be hearing is me banging weights on the floor while she's trying to watch TV. So... I need to get some of them. I also copped a few other things along the way, including a couple of kettlebells, which were on sale, a couple more resistance bands, and a skipping rope. So I had a quite decent amount by this point. It had arrived. to say the least uh, but we've got it all here um, and yeah 
Oh, I'm ecstatic, man, because I've gone so long without equipment. Like, you don't understand. Like, I've obviously had this bench, had some other stuff here, but now with, you know, the mats and the apparatus and all these other dumbbells, resistance bands, things like that, it's basically complete and it's perfect for my coaching and things like that, similar. So this is amazing. So obviously the next step is to have a little workout on this. I'm gonna have a little workout now. Um, I apologise for these pubes on my face, like, I'm sorry, obviously, <laughs> for those of you who know me, I'm trying to do the big game now, you get me, I'm trying to, trying to grow something out, but um, <laughs> it's not happening, it, it, it's like, I'm, still, it's basically just pubes on my face right now, so I, I, I will have a shave, because it is buzz, I know it's buzz, I, I, I will shave, and then we'll have a workout, alright, uh, this is going to be it, goodbye to the, the disgusting beard, yeah, it's about to happen, how am I out of breath walking up the stairs? How am I big 17, almost 18, I still got no facial hair? It's a joke. I blame, like, I don't even know. I don't know what a man will say to me, like, yeah, you got no beard, but nothing. You know what? You should. Cause you say, I'm still benching more than you. <laughs> okay. The gym is completed. Your boy's just been spending the whole, you know, half an hour like, tweaking everything up, making it look extra, you know, nice, secure, as we could say. Um, but yeah, we're all done. We've done it. And kind of the next step is to kind of take you through how I bought it, where I brought it from, and how you can apply the same sort of thing to your, you know, uh, situation. Because obviously we are still in lockdown, still and it's not easy for all of us but i would say that this gym is pretty much very reasonable for the price it's given um and yeah also i thought i would say the most expensive part you know above all from this uh equipment that i have obviously obviously the weights the bench presses the dumbbells they're going to be ridiculously priced but then also i mean the apparatus was not actually too bad the apparatus was uh kind of around 130 pounds i think so it wasn't that bad um but also the mats. So these mats here, when did that happen? Oh, I hope that didn't leave a mark. Yeah, these mats here, so all these little, little squares, um, they came out to, so I think 20 of them was about 35 pounds and I've got three of them. So yeah, do the maths, 105, right? 70, yeah, 105, bless. But you know, it's essential. It's kind of what I needed anyway, um, for, because obviously I do do personal training here as well so i wanted to have this not just for for me while i'm in lockdown but also afterwards um so i thought it was essential that i get mats as well um obviously i have some of these mats so this is basically a carpet that uh so my brother does uh skating skater do so he uses these to skate inside believe it or not be able to do like these tricks um but this will just be really good for extra so anything that this doesn't do so here for example we can do some lunges blah 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 yeah, but anything we don't do here so we're deadlifting or we're doing anything heavier and put it all on here because this is like pretty freaking solid no charger there you know not listen to music no trouble there these resistance bands here yeah also this is a bit weird why on earth is that first of all why is it pink like crap why is that six kilos and this one eight kilos when this is twice the size of this like marketing blows my mind these days we've got everything um oof. Um, it's all gone out really, really well. Okay, now onto the main part of the video, how I essentially bought all my equipment and where I got it from, to be honest, because I know some of you will be, you know, getting a bit fed up, even though gyms are sort of, you know, we thought they'd be closer to opening, but they're not. Hmm. April 12th, hmm, 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 hmm. like, come on, like, hmm. They're, they're not opening for a while, so that's why I thought it was about time that I got something extra. It's all about what you want and you've got to prioritize you know what you want as opposed to what you need and i think that's that's really important there's a lot of heavy expensive equipment out there which yeah you want right but if you think about it with everything that i've got you can still do a sufficient amount 
like with what I've got and it's over and you know under 500 pounds now bearing in mind I didn't cut all the this equipment at the same time so for example the bench press and the dumbbells I cut like last year when things were cheaper actually um, and then I cut obviously a few a few more things but for me it was all about priorities right and I knew I needed some equipment so if you're thinking about money right there's two ways you can go about this so one get a job like I've just got myself another job um, <laughs> So yeah, that's the one thing. Oh my God. That's the one thing, get a job. Second thing, if you can, leech off your parents. <laughs> I mean, some people will be able to do that, <laughs> I assume. And the third thing is just save your money. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're in a pandemic, it's the perfect time. You're literally, what have you got to spend your money on at the moment? Let's be honest, like PS4. What, like FIFA points, yeah? Yeah? That's what you want to spend your money on. Clothes, we're not going out anywhere. Like why would you spend your money you can just save it so save a bit of money uh invest it you know um i've sold a few things to get pay for the equipment that i have but i also have savings i've been saving for so long so you know it's not like I've, i'm actually skint now like, i still have money i just think about my priorities you get me also be smart with where you're buying stuff from like a lot of prices will take advantage of the prices of some of the fitness equipment like I saw a website that had this for almost twice the price when I got this one off eBay. Be careful about the marketing there. Just It basically just comes down to what you want, isn't it? So are you willing to buy it? Are you not? You know, I've built this little setup. Um, and yeah, it's good. It's good. I've got some good shit in here. And this will last me hopefully until gym's open, which will be... The 12th in it, touch wood. Shit, yeah. Um, I'll have a little workout now. Do some of that. And uh, yeah, that'll be it really for me. But uh, hopefully this was helpful. I'm trying not to talk too much. I will edit this to make it less waffle. You get me? Because I, I have a tendency to waffle in, but I will keep it strictly to a minimum. Yeah? Cool. Right. Uh, that being said, I'll do some skipping now. Never reminding, never taking Whatever you told me I know what I could be Making the most painful answer Tell me Is this what you made me? Every time you bring